Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, this is video two, as we promised. And so I want to get right into it. Time is money. Um, Ted, can you just review what tax liens are? Okay. So you guys liens. that missed us on the first one, uh, just a quick repeat. Uh, all the counties in the United States, the legislature tells the board of supervisors or the county commissioners, you must charge taxes. So that means the treasurer has to go out and levy the tax, try to collect the tax. These are all on properties now. All right, trying to collect the tax. If they can't collect the tax and it's a tax lien certificate state, what the, what the treasurer will do is they'll just issue a tax lien certificate, which is a piece of paper like I'm holding right now. That's a tax lien certificate. All right, anybody can buy one of those. Those certificates pay 16% in some states, 18% in Florida. Uh, Illinois pays 36%. Iowa pays 24%. You're getting the idea. Mississippi pays 15 There's a lot of places to buy tax certificates and there's millions of them. You can't buy them from Ted Thomas. You invest with the government, you're going to get a check back from the government. Now, listen very closely to what I'm going to say. Folks, if you're a suspect of real estate, this is the safest, the most lucrative investment in America today. You can't invest with me. You can't invest with Ty. You invest directly with the government. Your check's coming back from the government. If you don't get paid, you get the property. I don't make the rules, but I'll bring them to you. If you don't get paid, you get the property. Is that good? I think it's great. Oh, it is great. Um, so now I, I have a good understanding on it. Um, but uh, obviously people that may be watching this, even if they're into the second video, they still don't have a, uh, a great understanding on it. So, uh, and most people like to start uh, where they live. Is this available in every state? Okay. Tax defaulted properties, which is where the money is. That's when you get the property. They're available in every state in the union and every county. Now there's 3,000 plus counties that are gonna have tax defaulted auction. I said 3,000 plus counties. It's so overwhelming. There's so much abundance, you're not gonna be it. There will be, and most, most real estate people don't know this, there's gonna be two and a half to three million tax defaulted auction properties this year. And there's gonna be 5,000 of these auctions. We're gonna teach you, Ty and I are gonna teach you the step-by-step -step process. So you can do this sitting on your rusty dusty at home on your computer. You can buy and sell using your computer. Now, re remember, you're not going to buy a property without going out there and looking at it. We always look at the property so we know what we're buying. We don't want to buy a place that burned down or the hurricane pushed it over or whatever. You want to buy good property. So, so, this is a, so tax defaulted are everywhere, but tax lien certificates are only in half of the counties. So that help you out a little bit? Yes, it does. All right, so just think it through it, um, man, just some of the stuff that you'll learn in school. Why don't they teach this in school? A lot of people have real estate agents and brokers that they're dealing with to help them find uh, real estate deals. Uh, why Why haven't, you know, why don't they tell you about this particular option as for a real estate investor? Well, that's a good idea because we all know some brokers and we all know some title company people and we know attorneys, you know, because we have to in our business, right? But they never yeah. talk about this. Never. The reason they don't talk about it is they can't get paid. Mm. So if an attorney's going to help you, he's got to get paid. So you say, yeah, come on in, 300 bucks an hour, whatever the, whatever the fee is. Or if a broker's going to help you, they just want to sell you something. Okay, I understand that. It's our system. Um, I've, I've been living with it for 60 years. All right, with tax liens and tax deeds, they can't make any money. So you have to do this with your local county. Now, keep in mind, there's 3,000 counties, and then there's another 1,400 municipalities. So there's so much of this, it's so abundant, you would just drown, you would just go under this, so much to do. So you just wanna pick certain areas. Like if you wanna buy in Alabama, start there, that's a good place to start. Or you say, well, wait a minute, I can make more in Mississippi, so you could buy, buy them there. Or you wanna buy them in Florida, but we can teach you to do this online. But there's plenty of tax lien certificates and there's plenty of tax defaulted property. Now, if you're a real estate investor, you wanna buy tax defaulted property, I know that. I'm gonna show you, before we finish these four videos, I'm going to show you some things that are going to shock you. And one of the things I'm going to show you right now is every county, every county makes a list of the properties that are available. So if you decided you want to sit at your computer and you wanted to go to Los Angeles County, this is the list of all the properties they're going to have for sale at Los Angeles. Now, I know you don't believe a word I'm saying, so I'll just show you the picture. That's Los Angeles County. Every single county in the United States makes a list. Now, they're all not that big. We take a small county in a state in New York. I'll just pick up another brochure. Okay, this is Dutchess County. Dutchess County 
You can see right on it. They got 113, 113 properties. They're going to auction off. Starting bid is the back taxes. There's no mortgage on these properties and no deed of trust. 113 properties. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up. I just printed this on the internet so you guys can see it. There's the pictures of all the properties. Plus, we can get all those properties online. All right, now it's hard to show me show the pictures on this, but you're getting the idea. Every single one of those properties, we can we can show you how to find it online. You show you how to do assessment. We can show you how to use it. The, the geographical information system as a satellite goes right over the top, comes down. We can, we can tell you if there's a geranium on the front porch. So there's so much abundance, it's just absolutely overwhelming. Absolutely overwhelming. There's plenty for everyone. Wow, wow. Um, so I'll assume um, uh, if you have the internet, you can obviously search for tax uh, uh, certificate tax liens uh, here in the states. So I, I can, I would assume someone can do this internationally, also, right? Well, I have clients in the United Kingdom. I have clients in almost all the provinces of Canada, and I'm not talking about one or two. In the western part of Canada, I probably 700,000 clients. I have clients in Singapore. I have clients in Australia. All right, now I'm going to show you something now that'll shock you. So I have a client in Saskatchewan. Now, Saskatchewan is a big province in Canada. It's bigger than Texas. All right, he lives in Regina. Now, Regina with an R, okay? That's the capital. All right, and what did he do? He said, called me and said, can you show me how to do this online? So I showed him how to buy online. And I said, I want you to start with residential lots. He said, what do I want residential lots? I said, because nobody else is bidding on it. And I'm a contrarian. I'm going to teach you how to do things that nobody else does. He said, why would I do that? I said, you want to buy a residential lot because the prices are going to be very low at auction and you can sell them quickly. So he did. On his first one, online from, Re from Regina, Canada, he made $20,000 sitting in his basement. Now, when I show you this video, you're going to go into shock because on his second deal, he made over $100,000. And on his third deal, he made even more than that. And I'm going to show you a video right now. This guy does not live in the United States. He's doing it all online. So if you want to learn online, Ty has brought you to the right place. Watch this. My name is Kelly Osmack, and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County, at Riverside. Uh, I purchased it for 35000 and... Uh, after I got my title, I listed it. It was listed for a month, and I got a full cash offer of $55,000 US. After that deal, I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five-acre parcel um, in uh, Kingston, and I paid $131,000 for that property. Uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300-square-foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property, really nice property. I had it listed at 280 and I received a full price offer in four days. I went back to Riverside because it's a great place. I love Riverside for whatever reason. In May, I bought another property. It's another. It's in Desert Hot Springs. It's uh, another five acre parcel. It's it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's. I I bought this property. For $177,000, five acres of land. There's this house. There's there's a another 900 square foot nanny mother-in-law house. There's outbuildings. It's a beautiful property. I had a realtor go look at it, and he said, "Yeah, it's it's in like from the exterior, it's in looks like it's in decent shape. Depending what the inside is, he said it could range for anywhere from you know 500 to." 800. I'll probably clear 100,000 US on that deal. I've never left my basement office ever. <laughs> How about that? No? Yeah, amazing. Wow. <laughs> so those he are, did that those from. Are big, those are big dollars. Yeah, he, so he did that from Canada. So that answers the question. You can do this little, literally from anywhere in the world if you have an internet connection. All right, so uh, Ted, could you. Um, Okay, we hear the terms, the different terms, the tax lien certificates, uh, tax defaulted properties. Uh, which one should you you target? Or, you know, if you could give some insight on that and maybe just explain okay. the two differences. All right. So I tell people that are nervous about this or that maybe a little older, you know, um, you and I uh, have 
when we're teaching people, we always have to be concerned. If they get a little older, they might not, we don't want them to take any risk with their money because if they're older, they might not be able to make it up. You know, young guys, they're kind of gunslingers. If they don't make money today, they'll make money tomorrow. And so if you're very conservative, start out with tax lien certificates. Now, you're never going to give any money to me. You're going to give it to the government. You're going to get a check back from the government. So that's a very conservative investment. If you're a real estate investor, then you've been out. I don't know. You might be a flipper or you might be a fixer upper person. Or maybe you're one of those people that does renovations, you know, and takes those mediocre houses and makes them into uh, mansions. I don't know. You can be any one of those. So the tax defaulted business, and you'll see as we go through video three and four, I'll show you more of this, but this business, we're buying properties for 10 cents, 20 cents, and 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage and no deed of trust. Mm. All right, now hold on for a second. Let me explain this. If we're buying at 20 or 30 cents, well, every property has a tax assessment on it. So we're going to know right away whether it's got value. So if we can buy for 20 or 30 cents, and let's say it was a hundred thousand dollar property, and we bought it for thirty thousand dollars. Well, we got a lot of margin there. All right, so that's the kind of stuff that our entrepreneurial people that you and I have so many for as clients. They're entrepreneurs. They want to, hey, look, I want to make twenty grand. So our business is not founded on teaching people how to make five thousand dollars. Our business is to teach people how to make twenty five and fifty thousand dollars on one deal. We're not going to teach you to do a whole bunch of things, do all that work and make five grand. We want to teach you how to make 25. All right, now watch, $100,000 property. I buy it for 20 cents on the dollar. I get all this margin. We well, want to make the money quickly. If I bought it for 20,000, why don't I sell it for 50,000? There's mm. a lot of margin. All those fixer upper guys, they're, they're, they're there right now. Now, how do I find all those guys? I find them all on Craigslist. I find them on eBay. I find them on Twitter. I find them every available electronic place. I find those people because there's a lot of fixer upper people, a lot of flippers, a lot of renovators. I want to sell to them. I'm going to buy all I can at 20 and 30 cents on the dollar. Sometimes I even pay 40 cents on the dollar because I know I can get rid of it quickly. And there's going to be more properties than they can handle. Now I could just keep, now if, if I just took you to this one auction, there's going to be 2,500 properties here. Could you find one that you wanted? Just one? Think about what I'm talking about. Oh, there's going to be thousands of these properties. Thousands. Nationwide, we have a new crop every year. It never stops. It wow. never stops. It's been going on for 200 years. Wow. Amazing. Well, now, so we discussed um, um, buying online, uh, but if someone wanted to actually physically attend an auction, and uh, what, what should they expect? You know, it's a, a room full of people, five people, 10 people, or, um, you know, how many normally show up? Does it just depends on the county and the population and the number of the amount of properties that are available? What, what goes into that? And what should someone expect if they actually want to physically go to an auction? Okay. Well, you gave me a lot of questions there and I'll try to answer one at a time, but first of all, everyone that's watching me, if you know, there's going to be an auction and you can drive to it by all means, drive to that auction and go and watch it. Just put your hands in your pocket. Just don't raise your hand up like that because they think you're a buyer. But just watch. And uh, anytime there's a physical auction, you want to go to that. But more and more, the counties like to do online. All right. So there's going to be plenty of auctions. Now, here's how you can figure out whether there's going to be a lot of, if, the, if it's a rural county with a small population, you're going to see anywhere from a couple of dozen properties to maybe a hundred available at the auction. They're going to have an auction at least once every year. Okay. So a couple of dozen to a hundred. But if you go to a big county, a big meeting in population. So for 30 years, I've been doing it. I've never seen like San Bernardino County, California. I've never seen less than 1,500 properties available. 1,500. Mm. And they've been doing it for 30 years. I am. Los Angeles will have anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 properties available. So wow. these auctions can be big auctions in Los Angeles. So many people want to go to the auction that they'll charge you $5,000 to get in the door. Now, if you don't buy anything, they give you 5,000 back, but they do that just to discourage people because they don't want to do it. And they hold their auction at the fairgrounds. There's no building big enough to get all those people. So they have it outside at the fairgrounds with big screens up there. So there's plenty of these available. Now, if you live in a rural state, these little auctions are gold mines. Now you guys are in Alabama that are watching some of you in other states. All right, right next to you is Georgia. I will show you, before we finish our videos, I will show you a guy 
that started with me 20 years ago, he's done over 100 deals in Georgia, 100 deals. And the worst you can do in Georgia, the absolute worst you can do is make 20% on a, on a certificate. The worst you can do is 20. If it's only two years, it's 30. If you hold it another year, it's 40 or 50. So I'm telling you that there's more than you can handle. Okay, so you sort of answered the uh, my next question. What I was going to say, should you target smaller uh, uh, cities or counties um, or do you target the largest ones? Um, so it, it really does it really matter or it just depends on what your your end game or your exit strategy is? Yeah, I like to, oh boy, I love to hear you say that exit strategy word because that's the biggest problem with tax lien buying is people don't figure out the exit strategy before they buy. Mm -hmm. Don't buy anything until you get your exit strategy. But mm -hmm. I would tell people, start with those small ones and it gives you more time. You're not, you're not so hurried. You go to a big one, the auction is going to, now I'm going to clap my hands. And you can see how fast I'm clapping my hands. That's how fast the properties go. Because mm -hmm. they got 2,000 of them, they got to get rid of So that auctioneer yeah. is going so fast. You know, just getting used to the cadence would be, would be hard. So I, I would go to both, but I would buy in the, the smaller ones. I mean, if they get 100 properties, uh, like Seattle, uh, there's three counties in Seattle. They'll usually have about 150 properties. That property, that auction is going to take a half a day to a full day. Well, that's a nice slow pace, nice and easy, nice and easy. But the big ones, they're going to hire a professional auctioneer. Those professional auctioneers get paid by every time they make a sale. So they're going to be, they hustle, they bustle. So I showed you um, like this county right here. I bought a, I bought a colonial house. If you guys know what a colonial is, big, big two, uh, two-story house with a big circle driveway on five acres. Uh, I thought the house was worth about 400,000. And so I paid 30 cents on the dollar at that auction. And they, ha they, had, uh, uh, they had just one of the county officials selling the property. Sometimes they'll have a company like this one selling the property. So the professional auctioneers go like hell. They just really go fast. All right. Uh, wh what's the uh, maximum um, number of uh, certificates that are available. Uh, is there like a, a a pretty much a good range that you can expect each year, or it'll 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 fluctuate up or down depending on what may be going on in the economy? Well, it'll fluctuate up up and down, but the tax business doesn't do it. Like real estate goes up, whoop, goes down, go up and down like that. The tax deed and default is more steady like this. But when I say steady, over the years, my thirty years that I've been doing it, it slowly has gone up like that. So a, a, a state like Florida will have at least 1 million certificates available every year, 1 million certificates. All right, so if you're in a tax lien certificate state, that means a lot of tax certificates. Counties, if they're small counties, I'd say 100 and less properties to sell. But if they're a county with a big population, like let's take in Atlanta, Georgia, you know, and you get some of those counties are really intense, or uh, maybe Birmingham or, or, or Montgomery, they're pretty intense. You might find 200 to 500 properties. That's a lot. Wow. Okay. So uh, I, now I heard in the state of Georgia, uh, 20%. Uh, what is that referencing? All right. Um, let's do that on the next video. Uh, I'm yeah. going to come right back. So folks, I'm going to come back. Uh, Ty and I will be right back. We're going to do a third video. But let me tell you this. Every month I do... Uh, what I call a virtual seminar. And it really is virtual. You can sit and watch the whole thing right in your living room or at your kitchen table, okay? It's not free, it costs $47. You can register it right below me. But this virtual event starts to tell you the basics of what we're talking about today. If you're learning anything today, you'll see I'm gonna multiply that by 100. And the virtual event starts at eight o'clock, excuse me, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's at eight o'clock for the Californians, right? <laughs> okay, 11 o'clock in the morning, it goes through until five o'clock. It's continuous. You can eat. All we ask you to do is keep your clothes on. Just keep your clothes on. But, you know, you can come to the event. Uh, Ty and I both know when we do these events, there's people taking their clothes off. They forget that there's all of us are watching, you know. But anyway, so you can come to that event. We'd love to have you. We'll be right back. But right below me, you can register for the event. We'll be right back with number three.